What's going on guys? It's your boy Kev here, back with another video, back to some NBA prize picks. I told y'all yesterday, we're going to get right back into the prize picks after I did my NBA season long 3x3 three three yesterday. Um, seems like you guys liked it. Don't know if I'm going to continue doing it, um, just because, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, we, we're a lot more focused on, I guess, uh, the daily fantasy sports uh, side of it right now, opposed to the season long. But, um, you know, who knows, maybe I'll start kicking out once a week, like I said. We'll uh, see that moving forward. But again, today is prize picks. I'm going to go over some good ones. Um, um, we have eight here as we usually do um, to open the slate, but there will be more as we know. So guys, if you are new to the channel or new to Prize Picks, let me give you a quick rundown like I do every video. So, Prize Picks is a daily fantasy sports platform where instead of picking players, you pick the overs and unders on players. So, if you see, like, we have uh, Clint Capella here at 44 points, we can go over or under Clint Capella at 44 points, and we pair that two, three, four, or five times between that many players. And uh, obviously, the more risk you do, the more reward you get. So, it's kind of like a parlay. But my favorite thing is you can do it between different sports. So, I can take the over of Clint, like I just said, at 44, was it? 44 hop over to soccer and take, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, Ibrimovic um, at, uh, you know, what is he, 6.5? Yeah, I can take the over of Ibrimovic at 6.5. Clearly, I don't know soccer, but I do, do know he's a big player. Um, but that being said, back to basketball. Um, and, yeah, it's pretty cool. You can actually, uh, you know, pick more uh, specific things now, like single stats, like they're talking about here. I don't know if they're going to give me a – area to pick that you can now make picks on points rebounds and more update your app okay so i need to update the app i guess but um yeah it's pretty cool that you can do that i was looking at the uh, nfl ones for playoffs like over overs and unders on yards i think i took the under of uh who was it aaron jones at his you know projected yardage so that was nice that worked out pretty good so i love that you can do the single stats now and guys as you see they're doing a promo where if you deposit you get a hundred percent match up to a hundred dollars so if you do you know sign up and deposit i would just say deposit the 100 so they match 100 back um if you do please use code dgf it really helps us really supports the channel and uh we do see when you guys do that so it doesn't go unnoticed and we really appreciate it guys so thank you but uh let's get into these picks again and um so you don't have to hear me mispronounce soccer players names anymore this slate, we are going to go over some NBA prize picks, as I talked about. We're going to start with Trey Young, and uh, we're also going to talk about Clint Capella as well. Um, you know, it's uh, it's interesting. I'm going to talk about them as a pair because, obviously, in the same game, same team. There are two people who are banged up, you know, two studs on that team that are banged up, and it's these two. There's a couple other players banged up, but, I mean, these are the two that you need to watch. I honestly like both for their, uh, you know, overs. I think they're, you know doing pretty well this year they can both you know consistently hit over this mark obviously Clint's is a little lower a little easier to get to and i'd say they've had pretty similar success recently so i'll you know gun to my head i will take uh, the over of clint i guess a little more than young that being said they both are pretty banged up they missed sunday's game um young missed it with a back injury capella missed it with a hand injury and like i said i like the overs of both but if one sits which again both just sat so if one does happen to sit i definitely like the over of the other one more so if you know young sits I like capella over more and if uh, capella sits i like young over more so definitely two players i want to consider um the over of and uh obviously like i just said someone doesn't play smash the over on the other one Moving on to Julius Randle. I'm going to avoid Julius Randle at 44. Prize picks keeps kicking him out. Um, just keeps dropping these super accurate projections for Randle. And I can't stand it. I mean, every week I just see him at like the same projection. It's just too accurate. He has been within six points of this projection seven games in a row. Three being under, three uh, four being over. So it's just too accurate. So I don't know why you'd want to take him. Um, I think it's just too accurate. So I would avoid him. Uh, Rudy Gobert. I'm going to take the under at 40. It's pretty close. But um, it's an average mass matchup versus the Knicks. And he has been under 40. 47 of his last 10 games, which is about the mark, you know, consistency marks, I would say is about 70% for me. That's where I like to look. So if a player is, you know, 60% of the time they're hitting over that, it's, it's usually hitting over, obviously, but it's also pretty close. I mean, it's kind of like any given night. 70% is consistent enough to me where, uh, you know, I'll, I'll probably target that. So 70% is about as low as I like to go. Um, just FYI. Moving on, we have R.J. Barrett. Love R.J. Barrett, someone I just talked about. I uh, just told you guys to trade for him in your season-long uh, fantasy basketball leagues. He's coming off a season low in minutes and points. That's why I told you to trade for him. That being said, I do think he bounces back against an awful, ja uh, an awful Jazz defense. But uh, I do think, and I will say this, even if he bounces back, I, I just think that's way too accurate. He's been dancing around that 32-point mark all year. So I don't think he's necessarily going to clear it or, you know, Fall, fall short of it guaranteed. I mean, he'll be, probably be right around that mark. He's been there all year. So even in a bounce back, I wouldn't take him. Um, Donovan Mitchell at uh, 38 is just too accurate. I mean, 
Donovan's just it's it's just another one's too accurate. I mean, he's been within five points of that projection six of his last seven games. So I'm probably going to avoid him. I mean, there's just no reason to take him. Like I said, I, I have some more uh, you know concrete stances. Like I said, with the uh, the Atlanta Hawk boys and then the uh, Rudy pick as I talked about. So I uh, yeah I probably avoid uh, you know Mitchell as well. Uh, moving on to Mitchell Robinson. This is a slight one, a slight under, um, but I do think it's uh, it, it's able you're able to take under at 29. I mean. It's funny. Usually, when you see the lower projected guys at like 29, it's almost like more enticing to take the over because it's so easy to get to. But there's a reason they're at 29. I mean, it's a super favorable matchup, which scares me. Um, very, very favorable matchup against ja the Jazz, as I mentioned with uh, Barrett. This is even more favorable. They're worse against centers. Um, that being said, I do think he hits the under. Like I, like, like I said, he's just been you know very, very consistently hitting under. He's been under 29 five of his last six games. So I will smash the under. But that one is a little bit more uh, accurate, I do believe, just because 29 is so easy to get to. And then uh, Mike Conley, I think 31 points. He's just too spotty of a player. Um, I really don't like that projection for him. I, to be honest, I don't like too many projections for him just because, again, like even if it was 27 or 37, I mean, you never know what he's going to do. So he's, he's too spotty of a player. He could clear it. He could come under. So um, gun to my head, I would take the under because I do think that is still high for him, but I would rather just avoid him, especially with some other picks I just gave you guys. So real quick video, guys. You guys know how I like to kick out for you. Just give you a starting point because um, if you'll see, they'll drop a million. I don't know if they'll have all the ones from here, but this is, yeah, this isn't the, the main slate. But, um, you know, I was looking at the main slate earlier today and and they will drop an extra, I don't even know, probably three, three times as many, you know, players after, you know, after, let's say, I don't know, 6 p.m. tomorrow, they'll probably drop, you know, just as many players uh, as, as, you know, you see in an NFL one where, you know, you have 40, 50 players on there. So I like to give you guys a good starting point, though, and tell you some of the ones I like just to, uh, you know, start to create your lineups. So just to reiterate, Mike Conley, I think is too spotty of a player. Gun to my head, I would take the under. Mitchell Robinson, slight, slight under. Donovan Mitchell, I'm not going to touch him. RJ Barrett, not going to touch him. Rudy, I'm going to take the under. Julius, I'm not going to touch. And I like either of the Atlanta boys for the over. And if one sits, I definitely like it even more. So Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I love these prize pick videos, as as I uh, you know I've mentioned every time I do them. So we have no MMA this week, sadly, but we have M MMA coming back the following week. Um, you know, again, no no playoff football, so it's a big basketball week. And uh, you know, but I know TJ and Matt have been absolutely crushing the basketball content. So please, please, please check them out. They've been absolutely lighting it up. Um, if you do enjoy the channel, do enjoy the videos. Please like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell. We really appreciate it, guys. Again, we notice everything you guys do. We love the support. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, let's cash.